Hi, uh, welcome back. Um, today I'm going to show you how to in do the installation for Automobilista 2 with my telemetry tool. Uh, it's quite simple and quite straightforward, but, uh, but I'll show you uh, the key steps so you don't have any issues. Uh, so, what do we start? Here is, if you look at my, if you look at the advanced installation, you saw that I did an in advanced installation of the Telemetry tool into the program files directory. So what are we actually going to do when you have the done, have you done the installation? Just create the shortcut here in the desktop so it's easier to start. So we just start the Telemetry tool here and you can see it starts the shared memory relay automatically from the bat files. You can, if you don't want to use it, you can also disable that. And you can see that it starts connecting the shared memory Automobile set 2 is not yet running, so we need to start that on the on the side, but you can see there's some settings. So this is the shared memory relay, so it will read the shared memory from Automobile set 2 and also Project Cars 2, and it will send it over UDB to my telemetry tool. And you can see that there's a max wait time, which is how long the tool will try to connect to the shared memory. So if there's nothing, it will take after three minutes, it will just quietly go away. But now you can see that the automobile is still starting. So it says that it connected to shared memory and we have the tool up and running. In the tool, you have to enable uh, the shared memory and uh, the UDB in order to get the data from the automobile to into my telemetry tool. So you go to options, systems, or system and there you enable the shared memory this is on by default this is off but you said it to project cars too so you have to remember this is the mode that we will be using and on the UDP you can set to one to nine one is sends the most data nine sends the least data to via UDP to the tools and then the, again the protocol version should be project cars too and these settings you do I would prefer I would recommend that you use both the shared memory and the UDP because uh, Shared memory provides more accurate data, for example, for the speed of the cars and the position of the cars, but the UDB sends some other data which is not even coming from the shared memory. So when I'm using the tool and I'm driving AMS2, I use both. I have both enabled and also the frequency is set to one. Because if you're looking using the tool locally, there's no reason to have it on anything else un unless you have some really big issues on the performance with your system. So we have now settings ready and then we can just go to a test day. Let's take, uh, so we have something here, let's hit the Porsche on the Snetterton 2 and then the tool starts, is starting and then you don't see yet anything, any changes. Of course the shared memory is already connected but then on the telemetry tool you don't see anything yet. It'll take a little while before it starts and before you see any any changes on there. But you can see the telemetry, uh, the AM is loading and now at some point it will notice already start setting data that okay this is the track I'm, I'm here and you can see uh, some new things with the AMS2 is that there is the uh, different temperatures visible on the driving page. You can also see here if the shared memory is on or not, also the version, some other other things. But this is a very easy way and then you start start driving and then you just, okay, I started driving but there's not, nothing, just I don't have any way to control the car. Okay, yeah, it just works. But that's, and then something new is uh, there's the torque is on the, instead of a uh, uh, turbo values here as a, as a thing which I think it might be more useful but this is the way you get AMS2 running with my telemet tool so I hope you you enjoy this and, and you enjoy driving with AMS2 and using my telemet tool with that so thank you for listening and see you later bye